Einen wunderschönen herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Lamplight City. Wir haben neue Hinweise. Wir können hier in dem Kerker was machen. Wir können hier Nets Wohnung, äh, Ned Flanders Wohnung, nein, äh, der Sohn, äh, nicht Sohn, der Neffe von, äh, ich habe den Namen schon wieder vergessen, von dem Organisten hier von der Kathedrale. Der taucht im Zusammenhang mit äh, Priscilla auf. Priscilla, die, äh, also hier, äh, der nette Freund hier, wie hieß er denn? Haben wir das hier noch? Ähm... Ihr Darius ähm, hat äh, das mit Priscilla und ähm, da ist nett. Wir gucken mal. Right Aha. this way, sir. Mr. Bunkridge is in his gymnasium. Thank you, my good man. Well, you take a look at this place and take a look at him. Maybe you should consider doing some training yourself, Miles. You aren't getting any younger after all. What in the ether is that supposed to be? Looks like some kind of medieval torture device. Then again, so does most of this newfangled exercise equipment. <lacht> das ist zum Hinsetzen und dann drückt man mit den Armen die Dinger so weg hier. Ne? Logisch. Ausgang. Berichte. Ja, haha, sind sie aber. Seems to be where Ned keeps his extra aber. equipment <lacht> and assorted other garbage. Well, look, maybe you can slip these on and go a couple of rounds with Ned. If that's his best right hook, he'll be a pushover. And after that expert knockout you delivered Officer Grant, he won't stand a chance. Naja, ich wäre vorsichtig. Some kind of martial art? Doesn't look like any I've ever heard of. Makes you wonder if old Nettie Boy is at the end of his rope, too. Mm. Just when I thought I'd seen it all. What will they think of next? Wollen wir mal? So, damit wir nichts verkehrt machen, speichern. Und feuerfrei. Excuse me, Mr. Bunkridge. Oh. Oh. Hello. Who are you? I'm Miles Fordham, a private investigator. Your ballot let me in. Right. Of course. What can I do for you? I have a few questions for you, if you'd be so kind. Yes, all right. I could use a bit of a rest anyway. Um. Oh, um. Are you familiar with a man named Ronan Lespay? Never heard of him. I have his portrait. Maybe you recognize him? No. I've never seen this man before, but... But? Huh. How about that? How about what? The detail in this ferrotype is a bit fuzzy. But his facial features and hair? They vaguely resemble mine. You know, now that he mentions it, it's true. Le Spade does bear a passing resemblance to this fellow. Not quite as handsome, though. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Does the name Priscilla mean anything to you? Yes, yes, it most certainly does. My lady Ein name Bula. is named Priscilla Poundstone. I see. What can Ein you tell me about Bula. her? Oh, she's a darling. I love her very much. Such a kind and gentle soul she is, too. Loves animals, especially dogs. We've been together for ages, and are due to be married soon. When was the last time you saw her? Saw her? Oh, no, Mr. Fordham. She doesn't live in New Britannia. She attends Miss Threadneedle's Academy for Young Ladies in Cormorant. She lives in New Holland? That's right. I've never actually met Priscilla face to face. We communicate exclusively through correspondence. What? How did you two get involved? Her father and mine were old military friends. They decided between them that their children would be engaged. Mm -hmm. And you're both in agreement? Yes. I admit at first I was a bit hesitant. But we share many of the same interests. The distance between us is not a detriment to our love. I wonder how that will change once they actually begin cohabiting. <laughs> So, jetzt, jetzt eine Theorie. Ähm, er sieht dem anderen ähnlich, der verstorben ist, ja? Was wäre, wenn jemand, die Priscilla liebt, rausgefunden hat, dass er der böse äh, Nebenbuhler ist, der er eigentlich nicht ist, und ihn umbringen wollte, damit der Priscilla kriegt? Tell me about your uncle. You know Tom? I've met him, yes. He's the one who told me where you lived. Oh. Right. Well, my uncle is uh, an interesting man. Ach. Is that an interesting of the good or bad variety? 
I really wish he would take better care of himself is all. I have the feeling that he's on some sort of drug, although he always denies it. What gives you that impression? Well, most of the time he acts completely normal. He goes to work, visits with me. Sometimes we go out together to the theater or a gallery. But mm -hmm. some days his mood changes. He goes very solitary, won't leave his house, gets short with me. One time I went to visit him, I heard him yelling along with what sounded like furniture being knocked about. It only happened once, but it worried me. I hope Tom isn't in any sort of trouble. Opium is one hell of a drug. It's a good thing you never got to that point with the soporific, or Adelaide would have thrown you out much sooner. <laughs> Are you alright, Mr. Fordham? Yeah, yes, yes, I'm fine. What? Too soon? Did you give me Tom's address? You don't have it? I thought you said you'd spoken with him. I visited him at the cathedral. But if he's there, why do you want his address? Um... I have reason to believe he may be somehow involved in a murder. That's a serious accusation, Mr. Fordham. What proof do you have? Nothing concrete just yet, which is why I'd like to investigate his home. Well, you're not the police, so... I'm not obligated to tell you. I'm sorry, but you'll need more than just a suspicion to convince me. On second thought, never mind. Okay, das kann ich wieder fragen. So you correspond regularly with Priscilla. That's right. At least one letter a week. My uncle does me the kindness of acting as courier. Do you think I might have a look at one of those letters? What for? They're private correspondence. I understand, but I feel this is important. Perhaps you could show me one that isn't too personal. Hmm. Yes, I suppose that would be all right. In fact, I think there's a recent one on the shelf there. That's not too private. But you won't need to take it, will you? No, I... Not at all. I just want to have a look. Not a quote. Thanks for your time. Not a problem. Mein liebster Nett, ich war so froh, als ich deinen letzten Brief bekam. Es läuft hier ganz gut. Ich fange an äh, im Laufe der nächsten Woche mit meinem nächsten Kurs an. Wie läuft es bei dir? Hast du das mit der Sporthalle hinbekommen, von der du gesprochen hast? Du musst mir eine Ferrotypie schicken, die deine neue Figur zeigt. P. Wait just a minute. Something's off here. The handwriting in this letter is different to the one we found before. There's something strange going on with this Priscilla. Das glaube ich nämlich auch. Vor allem hat sie nicht äh, geschrieben in Liebe und so weiter. Could I ask you a few more questions, Mr. Bunkridge? Von wem hat er den Brief? All right. Vom Onkel. Try not to take too long. Don't want to drop my heart rate too much. About your uncle's address? What about it? Why do you want it? I think there's something going on between him and Priscilla. Something going on? What do you mean? I found a letter addressed to you from her at the cathedral, and the handwriting is different to the letter you have here. He has one of her letters? Why would he? I'm not sure, which is why I'd like to search his home and find out more. If he's going behind my back, I swear I'll... No, 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 no. Mr. Bunkridge. If I find anything, you'll be the first to know. Good All right. Tom no. lives at 117 Gimlet Terrace in Worcester. Hey, we're practically neighbors. Here, I've got a spare key. If you find anything about mm. him and Priscilla, ma, 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 ma. tell me. Won't ja, you? na klar. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Bunkridge. This is a Schlingel. You're very into physical conditioning, aren't you? Oh, you noticed. No, yes, nicht. I believe that a healthy body is just as important as a healthy mind, if not more so. Well, he's definitely prioritizing the former. <laughs> it's important to keep fit, especially at a job like mine where I'm in a chair most of the day. What job is that? I'm a clerk at the Bank of Vespuccia. Ach. But someday, I hope to leave and teach others about the health benefits of regular exercise. Perhaps even open up my own gymnasium. Ah, he actually thinks people are going to go for that? <laughs> Good luck to him. <laughs> How do you feel about the election outcome? I'm disappointed. Atwood may not have been the greatest PM, but he was pro-Steam Tech. 
Sure, the Ligeia incident was a tragedy, but people are too quick to judge. Your steam technology is a boon to mankind. It's already enriched my life considerably. Hmm. It's a shame that progress is going to be held back because of one isolated occurrence. So, you know nothing about the murder outside the Silent Raven four nights ago? That's right. I don't even know what the Silent Raven is. It's a bar in the Chum. Well, that explains it. For one thing, I don't go to that part of town. A man like me sets foot in that den of ruffians, and I'll have every Tom, Dick, and Harry challenging me to a fight. Not that I couldn't take them, but... I have better ways to train my body than beating thugs. Anyway, I don't drink. Dulls the mind and softens the body. Stimmt. I see. Well, just thought I'd ask. I'm sorry I can't help you, Mr. Fordham, but I hope you solve whatever it is you're investigating. Oh. You seem like a nice enough sort. Thanks for your time. Not a problem. Was man hier nicht alles herausfindet, ich finde es hammer. Ich finde es hammer. <lacht> ähm, praktisch Nachbarn, ist klar. Wollen wir uns da mal umsehen? Nice place. Tidy. Nothing incriminating that I can see. People rarely leave anything incriminating out in the open. It's time to have a look around. Was ist das hier? That's odd. There are some scratches on the floor next to that statue. Das erste, was mir äh, aufgefallen ist hier. That's odd. How about that? Looks like we found singing Tom's buried treasure. Das war so auffällig gerade eben. Let's just see what we have here. Liebste Priscilla, meine Pläne sind fertig geschmiedet und ich werde dich bald in Kormorant besuchen. Denke bitte daran, dass das Leben in New Britannia sehr hart ist. Ich sehe deshalb äh, möglicherweise stärker gealtert aus, als du es erwarten würdest. Nett. Interesting stuff, but what about the box itself? It seems Puffin's gun has gone missing. He should really take better care of his things. Jenkins and Bowen. The name shares the initials that were on the murder weapon. That's quite a coincidence, wouldn't you JB, say? JB, yeah. I would if I believed in coincidences. It's empty. It's empty. Oh, Puffin's oh. music room is a bit lacking in comparison to the one in the painting. <laughs> so Puffin plays at home too? His poor neighbors. Huh. I was wondering when he was going to show up. Was will der denn? Hat er sich in die Priscilla verliebt oder was? Und dann wollte er seinen eigenen Neffen umbringen? Puffin's daily planner. The man leads an even more boring life than you. Who <laughs> that was even possible? Nothing else in there. Too bad. Music books. Clearly Puffin has never touched them. The look in her eye tells me she's probably hiding something. No point wasting time searching Puffin's bedroom. I have a feeling that if there's something to find, it's here in the sitting room. Haben wir doch schon. Hm. Habe ich gespeichert? Ich glaube ja, ne? Okay. Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt, ob der, der, der Rothaarige hier noch eine Rolle spielt. Fordham! You look even worse than the last time I saw you. <lacht> We can't all manage to keep looking as good as you, Giles. What brings you back? I'm looking to speak with your prisoner. Presser? I just got off the horn with Upton about him. Seems you're not the only one interested in finding the man. Then I suppose it's lucky I got here first. Suppose so. What was he brought in for, exactly? He's the suspected leader of a cooping gang. Makes me glad I didn't bother to vote. All those dirty politics are just a waste of time. You could all. And people wonder why nothing in Parliament ever changes. I bet that's a direct line to the police department. 
You should make a rude noise into it when Giles isn't paying attention. <laughs> I bet that's a... Oh, shot it. He's watching you like a hawk. Looks liable to toss you in one of his cells if you try any funny business. Not much of a view. But then it's not as though people in here are meant to have many luxuries. Either crime is low, or the police aren't doing their jobs very well. Not much in the way of comfort. No bed or even a bucket. It's a good thing this place is meant for short stays. Jetzt bin ich gespannt. Harvey Presser, I presume. Who's asking? Miles Fordham. I'm a private investigator. What do you want from me? Just a few minutes of your time. You don't have anywhere to be, do you? Nein, bestimmt nicht. Ah, Ask what you want, but I'm not answering anything until I see a lawyer. Ach, guck mal. I hear you were arrested for leading a cooping gang. Is that right? I don't have to tell you a thing. You're not a copper. Do you recognize the man in this ferrotype? Should I? His name is Ronan Lespay. He was shot outside the Silent Raven on election night. That's a real shame. Are you saying you know nothing about the murder outside the Silent Raven on election night? Not a thing. I've never even heard of the Silent Raven. Is that right? Because I've spoken to at least three people who swore they saw you there that night. Yeah, and you're not police, so that doesn't scare me. You can't do a thing about it. This guy's starting to get on my nerves. There has to be a way to make him talk. That's all the questions I have for now. Good. Leave me in peace. Hmm. Quatsch. Warum gehe ich denn immer hier hin? Mann, 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 Mann. Da will ich doch hin. Can we talk for a moment, Upton? Certainly. What's on your mind? Upton, what do you have on this Harvey Presser fellow? Give me a moment, and I'll locate the arrest report. Here we are. He was picked up in a bar in Chumley after being identified as the leader of a cooping gang by one of his fellow gang members. So much for loyalty. Anything else about him? Not much besides his address. That might be worth looking into. It's 5885 Riverview Road, right near the asylum. Ooh. Ah, wonderful. Maybe afterwards you can drop by and pick out a room. I'll let you get back to work. And you'd better do the same. Dann gucken wir uns da noch schnell um, oder? Ja, wenn da, okay. Oh. Just a moment. Priscilla. Yeah. What do you want? Ooh, she doesn't look like the type to take any guff. Better watch yourself, Miles. Habe ich gespeichert? Verdammt. Ich. Warum sind denn da so viele Staubsauger? Just wondering if I might borrow a cup of sugar. Is that supposed to be some sort of joke? No. We've hardly got a pot to piss in, let alone any sugar. I didn't mean to offend you, madam. I don't know what you're playing at, mister, but I've got too much on my mind to deal with it. So get out of here before I make you regret knocking on my door. Oh, I like her. She's feisty. Pity you squandered your chance to talk to her, though. Oh. Oh, Nina. Ich hab nicht gespeichert. Och, Mensch. Nun gut, pass auf. Ich, ich spiele wieder bis zu der Stelle und wir sehen uns dann in der nächsten Folge wieder und versuchen uns hier nicht so dämlich äh, anzustellen, okay? Ich danke jedenfalls fürs Zusehen und ähm, Bono, ja. Ja, ich, ich klicke mal. Und wir sehen uns dann in der nächsten Folge wieder. Vielen, 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 vielen Dank äh, fürs Zusehen. Ähm, bis dahin. Euer Firefox.